siempre que, que me salgo de la meeting y vuelvo a entrar, deja de record. Entonces, siempre tengo que volver a record. Sí, porque automáticamente ya graba, ¿verdad? Pero si me salgo y vuelvo a entrar, deja de grabar. Yo me tengo que acordar. Ya me han pasado casi media clase, a veces no la grabo porque se me olvida. <laughs> bueno. It was a good time. Okay, guys. So, thank you very much for joining the class. Uh, sorry que la dejé hablando solita, Sabrinita, pero sí, de, del 1 al 7 vamos a tener vacaciones, guys. Okay? From August the 1st until Sunday the 7th. So that means that we will continue with the class on Monday the 8th, August the 8th, okay? This is because we want you to go to, how is it called? Cibarfest. Algo así vi el anuncio? No. ¿Cómo se llama ahora lo de las ferias? Cibarfest, no. Para que vayan a las ruedas. No hay idea. No, no idea. yo vi una pancarta que era como Cibar Fest, algo así. No. I don't know. Niños. Ah, Cibar Land se llama. Cibar Land. Cibar Land. Ven que no lo voy perdido. Para que, para que vayan a, a Cibar Land y vayan a comer. Elotes locos, papitas. Se a... Tengan cuidado, guys. De verdad, tengan cuidado en cuando, si se suben a las ruedas. Miren, no se han conectado mucho, pero miren. Eh, les digo esto porque a mí me pasó una experiencia bien fea en esas ruedas. En esas ruedas. Estaban en el Cuscatlán. De hecho, fue el año antepasado. Fue. Yo me subí a la, a la Chicago, a la más grande, ¿verdad? Y no sé, guys, yo, yo pensé que ese día hasta ahí llegaba, de verdad. Porque empezó a llover, no, de verdad, se lo juro. Yo, a mí no me da miedo subirme, de hecho, cuando estaba con Suma, yo me subía a las que eran más, pero siempre con miedito, pero siempre me subía. Pero miren, guys. Me subí, eh, bueno, nos subimos con mi novio y todo, y guys, vieran qué horrible. Eh, empezó como una lluvizna, como un poco, así como lluviznita. Entonces, como nos empezamos a mojar, 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 eh, sorry, empezamos a gritar nosotros y decíamos que la pararan porque nos estábamos mojando y no nos hacían caso. La cosa es que eso no fue nada. Yo no sé si hubo un desperfecto o qué es, o quizás porque las otras personas estaban moviendo las cositas así, los asientos, pero se estaba moviendo tan intensamente que nosotros nos íbamos a caer. Entonces, miren, yo no sé, niños, me agarré de... Como ahí no, no tiene seguro, ¿verdad? No tiene seguro, solamente va a decir uno. A la buena de Dios. Entonces yo me empecé a agarrar de todos los hierros, niños, porque miren, se los prometo que me resbalé. Así me quedaba. ¿ve? Y lo peor que no la paraban. Y seguía así, ¿ve? así, así le hacía el, el asiento donde yo iba. Y de verdad, casi ahí quedaba. ¿ve? De verdad, se los prometo. No se ríen. Es posible. Es posible de mis olvos. Sí, yo en una ocasión. Fue así, Daniel. De verdad. O sea, vaya, es o que sea... existe entre el, el, cuando tú estás jugando que le dices, ah, qué chivo, ¿verdad? Y empiezas a mecerla. Pero, pero hay un límite donde de verdad decís, no, ya Daniel. aquí ya quedé. Ah, no, es que no es miedo. Yo me rebalaba. O sea, si yo no me agarraba, me caía, ¿me entiendes? Sí, yo llegué sí, a ese correcto. nivel que yo me tenía, me tuve que agarrar para no caerme. Que si no me hubiera agarrado y hubiera seguido en el, en el juego, sí me hubiera, me, en el juego sí me hubiera caído. A ese nivel llegué. Ajá, ese tanto que yo quería llorar no. arriba. Qué terrible. No, ese fíjese, algo así, no así tan, tan, tan espeluznante me pasó a mí hace como cuatro, cinco años, pero fue en la montaña rusa. Y justamente 
no te, para, para, para empezar, la montaña rusa hay que hacer una 45 minutos de, de cola, de fila. Uh, cuando uno ya llega, empieza a llover, me pasó casi lo mismo, ¿verdad? Y yo encantado la vida. Me subieron a las 10 de la noche cuando estaba en Don Rúa, por decirlo así, eso ahí creo yo le ponía la montaña rusa. Empezó a llover y esas cosas como que los cables topaban, las cosas eléctricas topaban en el carro que es metálico y, nos, y nos, nos agarraba la corriente en poca densidad, pero nos agarraba la corriente. Y solo el asiento era de madera y íbamos que no teníamos que movernos, pero como el pozo se mueve para ambos lados, me, me electrocutaba, me daba mis choques eléctricos. Horrible, feo. feo. Pero no, bueno, es eso es lo... Es o sea, que no debería, o sea, no debería, por eso es que dejan de funcionar cuando llueve, por la electricidad sí, y el agua. Pero qué feo eso, no, guys. O sea, yo nunca he tenido, nunca, o sea, sí me da miedito lo normal eh, y todo, pero, pero ya a un nivel que tú sientes que, que, ok, es mi vida, agárrate de algo si no te caes. Entonces, así pasó, así de extremo pasó. Y, este, y después de eso yo creo que, no sé, ya me dan, ya lo pienso más, más para subirme a una de esas. Pero pregúntenme, porque si ustedes me si ustedes supieran, después de esa experiencia me fue a subir ahí a Mundo Petapa, a uno ahí en Guatemala que, que no sé cuántos metros tiene de alto. Ahí le voy a mandar una foto de ese. Después me subí a ese, ya no le tengo miedo, ¿verdad? No, pero es que iba súper protegida, pero es que en esa chica uno va así suelto, ¿verdad? Lleve casco la próxima. No, niños, de verdad tengan cuidado, de verdad yo, fue horrible. Yo sí se me dio muchísimo miedo porque yo dije, no, aquí hasta aquí quedamos, me voy a caer, dije yo así. Pero uh, um, ha, se lo voy a mostrar rapidito. No sé cuánto, cuánto es de, de alto el lugar. Pero yo digo que si me hubiera dado miedo, ya no me hubiera subido, ¿verdad? Pero no me dio miedo, ya me fue a subir a la otra. Eh, se llama Rascacielos. ¿No han escuchado ese Rascacielos? Yo no. No, no voy. <risa> No, pero no sé si... Ya ahorita se lo voy a enseñar. Uy. Niños, no se conecta a nadie. Bueno, sí, no todos, right. Ahorita les voy a, les voy a enseñar rapidito. ¿Cuántos somos en clase en sí? Ah, uh, 23, if I am not mistaken. 23 or 20, 23. Oh. Mm -hmm. eh, Let me share the screen, tapito, y cuando lo vea me dice, Ticha, ya vi, salud. <ríe> ok, solo porque quiero que lo vean. Um, ¿Ya lo vieron? Ay, qué feo. Wow. Sí. <ríe> so, a ver, esa fue que me subí. Va, es lo que les digo, Ticha, si usted le ve, se hubiera quedado con miedo, ¿por qué se subió ahí, vea? <ríe> Y me subí ahí después de esa experiencia. Pero miren, ese es así. Ustedes lo suben hasta lo más alto. Y ahí lo tienen como unos 10 minutos viendo todo. Y usted no sabe en qué momento eso lo va a bajar. Pero con toda la velocidad del mundo. No sé cuántos, pero así lo baja de un sol y lo vuelve a subir. Lo baja y lo vuelve a subir. Pero ahí está con el pánico uno de que qué momento voy a bajar. Eso fue lo más horrible, la verdad. Yo sabía que no me iba a caer, pero fue horrible, niño. Una vez me subí, ya quedé curada. <ríe> Así que por eso le digo que... Sube y luego baja. ¿O son varias veces? Son varias veces, rápido y lento, rápido y lento. Pero lo más horrible es la primera vez cuando no sabes cómo es, ¿verdad? Entonces estás arriba. Y decís, bueno, en cualquier momento va a bajar, pero no baja despacio, baja súper rápido y sin, o sin, de manera imprevista. Y ahí estás como que, ¿en qué momento va a bajar? Pero no vas a saber cómo, como nunca te he subido, ¿verdad? Um, so it was horrible. Quedé con una vez. One La sensación time. del estómago es bien feo. <risas> 
Y no han visto videos que hay gente que se desmaya como por tres segundos y vuelven así. Sí, ya. Yeah. <risa> Probablemente eso pasó conmigo, uno no siente. Es posible. <risa> bueno, pero ok, guys. We will start with the class. No sé por qué hablamos de eso. Oh, por la fiesta Agustina, right? Julio, sí. va, vamos a ir a las ruedas, Julio César. Todo el, todo el grupo, estamos poniendo de acuerdo para ir esta semana que viene. Como no vamos a tener clase, va a ir, life. ¿verdad? Pero va a ir a no, compartir no. con nosotros, Julio César. Va a ver es es de eating o a restaurant. Ok, papa frita vamos a comer todo. Va a ir a las 8. El miércoles a las 8. El night. Uh -huh. Sí, por eso no vamos a ver clase porque vamos a ir. Um, Mira la cara que hace. What drink? What drink? <laughs> what drink? No, estoy bromeando, Julio. No, pero les dije que como vamos, we will have vacations from the first, August the first, until the seventh. You, you, you vacation, I do not have vacation. No, I, like, I mean. I like to work. Vacations for the class. Oh, oh for the class, yes. Uh, yes, uh, I, I know, yo no descanso. <laughs> we don't know what is vacation, right? I don't have vacation either. In my yes. other job, I don't have vacation. Just in this one. So we are on the same page. No, sí, a mí me gusta, pero ahorita no puedo ir. <laughs> o sea, puedo ir a ver. <laughs> nada más. Puedo ir a ver nada más. A mí me gusta el mar. Cuando vayan al mar, visitan. Yo, yo alquilo un microbús y me lo llevo. Vaya. Vaya. En serio. Vaya. En serio. Consigo un rancho. Vaya. Ya, ya, ya cantó. Sí, con todo y rancho. Oh my God. No aprovechemos. Sí, no aprovechemos. El 6, vamos. El 6. ¿Eh? Very crowded, ¿verdad? Yes. Cuando quieran me visitan. Va. It's fine. I, I will. Uh, we will look for you. Okay. Is one promise. Promise. You promise. No, you promise. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. So thank you very much for joining today. Um, I really appreciate that you are here. It's Friday, right? Tomorrow we will start um, resting. And uh, we will have vacation from the 1st, August the 1st until the 7th. So we will come back until the 8th, August the 8th, okay? So I hope you can enjoy your vacation. And um, we will start with the class. Guys, um, let me get a second and let me know if you can see the screen. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, great. So, guys, this is the class number five. All right, class number five. And uh, this is a review and practice about the unit number one. Okay, we will have a review and a practice about the unit number one today. Uh, we, will con we will start actually with a reading practice today. And this reading practice um, that we will work with will be fine in the page 14. So go to the page 14 on the manual, page 14. Here, okay? So this is the reading practice that we will have. Uh, we're gonna be continue talking about restaurant industry today, all right? Um, we will go to the exercise number two and three. Two and three. Are you in the exercise? I'm sorry. Are you on the page 14? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Give me just a second.
Okay, great. So guys, for this activity, we will work in pairs, okay? Basically, let's read, uh, we will read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item, okay? Uh, yesterday, we, will, we were talking about food, okay? About the menu, about some sessions about the menu. We know that we have different sessions. We have a starters, we have a snacks, main courses, desserts, and drinks. All right. We already practiced um, some of the items that can be in every session. Okay. You already know more vocabulary about these. So, based on this, we will go and um, introduce a new menu. All right. Uh, what well, we will know the strategies, okay? Strategies to introduce a new menu. What are the strategies that a restaurant uh, apply to introduce a new menu? ¿Qué tal, guys? Si en un futuro ustedes deciden emprender en el mundo de la gastronomía, right? Y usted dice, bueno, vamos a poner un restaurante, okay, a restaurant. Um, and you will receive a lot of tourists. Van a recibir muchos turistas, right? So you need to know vocabulary about this, about how to put in, I mean, what to put on the menu and all of this information. So here we have some strategies to introduce a new menu, okay? So uh, we have the strategies here and you will check the box. This is the box, all right? Check the box. It's going to be like that. Look at, check the bus. This is check the bus, all right? Check the bus. Um, next to the strategy. What is the strategy, guys? This strategy is number one, strategy number two, number three, number four, and number five strategies, okay? We have five strategies. So you will check the mark next to the strategy. You will consider, you will implement. All right, let's think that you will introduce a new menu, a new menu item, okay? De hecho, guys, ese new menu es, no es un menú completo, sino que es un ítem al menú. Usted va a introducir un nuevo platillo, digamos, uh, un, un nuevo item, un nuevo ítem al menú. Un nuevo platillo, algo, ¿verdad? Puede ser un dessert, puede ser un appetizer, it can be a main course, etc. ¿Sí? Entonces, esas son las strategies, estrategias, para que usted considera que usted va a implementar. We have five strategies. Tenemos cinco acá. Usted va a check, them, check the box, usted le va a dar chequecito a las que usted implementaría. Si usted implementara un, bueno, aplicara, uh, sorry, in, introdujera un nuevo item en el menú. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Ok, Julio César? Usted va a elegir cuál de estas. Por ejemplo, in my case, lo voy a leer, I will read it. Provide free food sampling of your new product. Would you provide uh free food sampling of your new product guys yes or no mm, let me think i believe no next one uh add new items to your website add the new items absolutely i will apply this in my case i will apply it i will add the new items to my website i will apply it Second, use social networking, sorry, use social network sites to share the information about your new product. Definitely, I go with this, okay? I like it. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipt. No, I won't do that. Next, give a promotional offer that includes the new items that customer uh, to customers after the recent visit. I absolutely mm -hmm. give a promotional offer. So mm -hmm. in my case, in my case, I will, I will um, 
introduce these three strategies. En mi caso, yo aplicaría esas tres. I don't know what will be in your case. No sé cuáles van a ser en su caso, pero eso es lo que vamos a trabajar ahorita sí. in pairs. Yes? No? Maybe? Yes. That's okay. Julio César? Yes, in my case, in very important is maybe a promotional after the employees the new items to consume after recent visit. Perfect. Okay, great. With me. In your case, great. Yes, in, so, in, my case. in your case. So after doing this, después de hacer esto, guys, con, with your pair, it will work in the number three. Okay, exercise number three. And the exercise number three is, these are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. So those are the steps. Now that you know the strategies, here you have the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product of the menu. Aquí están los pasos para hacer su, uh, su plan de acción para introducir ese new, new product. Okay, we have A, B, C, D, and E. What you're going to be doing, lo que ustedes van a hacer, guys, is number the following steps of the action plan. Number the following steps of the action plans. Okay? Uh, and here you, have, here you have them, okay? Here you have them. Lo que van a hacer es enumerar lo que van a hacer de primero. Que van a hacer de segundo, de tercero, de cuarto. Van a enumerar los, 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 los pasos para hacer este action plan que están aquí. De, from one to five. Del uno al cinco. ¿Cuál va a ser? Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three, four, five. ¿Ok? Y este es un ejemplo de cómo lo pueden hacer. All right. Dice, what actions or change will happen? Uh, who will carry out? When will it take place for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? Communication, who should know that? All right. So this is what we're going to be doing in pairs. Okay. This first and then this, the number three. Um, do we have any questions regarding this, guys? So I can make the breakout rooms? Yes, teacher, uh, I got a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, para desarrollar eso, digamos, como eh, yo elegí eh, el give promotion. Mm -hmm. eh, Ese tengo que desarrollar como lo haría. Ese es, así es como usted dice. Oh, thank you for asking. No, en that case solamente va a elegir los que usted implementaría y hasta ahí. Luego el otro ejercicio es básicamente enumerar los, los pasos de la, del, del plan de acción que usted va a implementar para introducir el nuevo producto. Entonces solamente es de ordenarlos. Acá tenemos cinco pasos y es de ordenarlo. Y hasta ah, ahí. Eso, eso, esos cinco pasos no es que yo agregue. A, de, no, eh, ajá, oh. solamente, exacto, no es de agregar más. Thank you yo for quería, asking. Está bien. <laughs> Thank you. What about the other ones, guys? Ha, do you happen to have any questions so far? No questions. Should I make the breaker runs? Le voy a compartir esta, lo que vamos a hacer, ¿ok? For this, guys, we will have uh, 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes and you come back, okay? 10 minutes, guys. 10 minutes and then you come back, okay? Let me get a moment and I will share this to your break, Aaron. I'm sorry, to the WhatsApp. One moment, ahorita se los comparto. Let's
Okay, guys, I already shared the information on the WhatsApp, okay? Uh, it's your, it's, uh, I'll zoom you. Okay. I'm sorry. Hello. We don't hear you. <laughs> Guys, hello. <laughs> sorry. Uh, do you have questions about what we're going to be doing, guys? No. Yes. Todo clear? Okay, I will make the breakout rooms right now, guys. Uh, do we have any listener? Luis Ernesto? Okay. Is the only one. Okay, guys, click on join, please. Click in join, guys. Ya los estoy moviendo. Amilcar, ahora está el listener, ¿no? Hello, teacher. Yes. Yes, listener. Yeah. Yes, listener, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. One moment. Okay, guys, click in join, please. Click in join, guys. Yeah, uh, I already assigned to you to the breaker branch. And don't forget to keep it in English. Um, Kenny, Luis Cesar, I mean, Julio Cesar uh, Ramirez, Marcos, oh, Marcos, no, Osby, pudo join the, the breaker branch. Julio Cesar Ramirez. Está ahí Julio César. Hello. We can hear you. No le podemos escuchar, Julio César. You have issues with the. Uh... Okay. Okay. What uh, in the in the indication say read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategy you will consider implementing. What do you select of a strategics, Julia America? Um I stand in uh, this this test uh, order. Ponerlos en orden. Así but es. Using using in the box in the list. 
and uh, letters A, B, C, D, E. Uh, in it's the simple. number, sorry to interrupt you, in the in the session number two, en la parte número dos, Julio César, recuérdese que es que vamos a seleccionar cuáles son las estrategias que usted implementaría. Ah, okay. check, the, check the box. Y en la yes. otra parte, ahí se de ordenar. All right. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Sí, este... Julio Amilcar. Ah, estamos con Amilcar también. Bueno, Julio César, perdón. No le estaba, no estaba viendo el nombre. Perdón. Es que se oye bien raro, Julio Milker. Yo estoy cruzando el No sé, es raro. Te quiero te te quiero relax. Relax the mail. The weather is hot, yes. but it's... Okay. Ok. Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the step to complete the introduction of the frame. The manager requests extra funding for this project. Uh, the train is made with her that are somewhat available, but they are not very expensive. Okay, those are like the step to to introduce our strategy. What? Those steps the in the item number three. Uh, just we have to um, select the the cover order. Teacher, no se le escucha. Yes, hello. Guys, in the session number three, you will put them in a correct order. En el ejercicio número tres, lo van a poner en el, en el orden correcto. Y en el ejercicio número dos, solamente van a check the box the, the, uh, with the strategies that you will consider to implement. It's okay. Thank All right. You, coach. If you have any question, let me know, guys. You're welcome. It's okay, Cole. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coach. You're welcome, guys. Okay. So we have to choose uh, the step number one. What do you think? Uh, what will be the or covered order about those steps? I think, um, well, let me think. I don't know. Uh, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. A new dream. No, 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 yes. <laughs> ah, a new dream is going to be introduced to the. ¿Cómo quieres que lo ordenemos por todo? Ajá. Ajá. Sí, podría ser eso, the first one. Request extra funding. What's mean funding? The manager request extra funding. Ah, uh, solicita eh, un derecho, sería, ¿no? Sería. Para el proyecto. Eh. 
letter A. And a new drink is going to be introduced to the main. Production or change will happen here. action or cambio sucederá o pasará? Entonces, digo yo que in a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu is letter 8. Ok, me parece bien. ¿Verdad? Y la... Ajá. Y la... Nada más, ¿verdad? Yo, teacher. Teacher. Hello. We don't understand. Which one? Number two. We are going to uh, create a product um, in just a number. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, a name. Just name. And, and then we are going to work in the exercise three. Oh, what is the what is the no. exercise uh, in the number, number two? two. Um, mm -hmm. in the page fourteen, exercise yes. number two and mm -hmm. three. Um, exercise number two, mm -hmm. read the following strategies to introduce a new mm -hmm. menu item. Those are mm -hmm. um strategies that you will order. I mean, sorry, that you uh, will check the box. I understand. You're going to I understand. <laughs> I, I only have to check the strategy we are used. Yes, that's it. Okay, and okay. discuss why you will why you are choosing those strategies that you consider mm -hmm. that are important to implement uh in the in I mean for introducing a new menu item. Okay. And then okay. the number three is to order the steps for an action plan to introduce a new product. Okay. Fine? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any question? Let me know, guys. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next, number four, I think our best, I think uh, our best and staff will stay in communication to carry out the step to complete the introducing of the drink okay it will be the four are you sure yes <laughs> i follow you <laughs> okay. and and then no and, and the, the last I, and the last, the thing, last one the is last. the first <laughs> yes first. first okay Okay. And if not, then correct us later. <laughs> okay. That will be. Mm -hmm. Ojalá que no. Hello guys. Wow, did you finish? Yes, teacher, we finished. You are so fast. Yes. Very fast. <laughs> Thank you, you very ready. very fast. Yes. Uh we will go back in two minutes, okay? Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes, because I believe your classmates are still missing. So, by the way, I'm trying <laughs> with my camera again. And invisible. No, pero dice que es como de la uh, resolution. Es algo de eso, dice, pero I don't know. So I'm trying. I'm testing it. No, it doesn't. You using the 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 green green screen. The Estamos green. Usando la pantalla verde. <laughs> ah, yes. No, pero miren, yo veo que se va aclarando. Let me see. Is 
clear. Yes, it works. Wait a minute. Yes, right? Pero le di como tres vueltas. <ríe> en internet lo busqué. Ahí decía que se tenía que dar vuelta. Ah, oh, it works. Ven, it works. En el momento que los mandé a los breaker rooms, le di amor, entonces it works. <ríe> so, it was not necessary to sleep with, with, with that, right? <ríe> No sé si recuerdan lo que dije. No, ahora voy a dormir con ella para tal vez así funciona, dije. Por eso okay. se arregló. Yes, it works. Ven, okay. Google is so wonderful. It's a, a better assistant. Excuse me, Alvin. Google is, is a good assistant. Yes. For sure. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, let me go just to another breaker room, the last breaker room, just to make sure. And we'll go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Thank you, guys. It's okay, more. More. No. Wait. Uh, bueno, more expensive. No sé si se agrega la. la no. Dan. No, ¿verdad? Ya está. No. Uh -huh. The first eh, is la reunión. bigger than, more beautiful, more uh -huh. interesting, uh -huh. longer than, y better than. Ese es todo. Ah, ok. Eh, uh -huh. Lo que tal vez en la red, no sé si, bueno. Ah, no, verdad que la vez, un día de estos la, la tichera explicó las reglas, que si uh -huh. digamos el, la palabra era vo, eh, consonante, vocal consonante, eh, la, una de esas reglas es que usted a la última consonante la va a duplicar. Hello, hello, guys. Thank you for joining back. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss. Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining. Is everyone here? Yes, right? Let me check. Yes, everyone is here. Yes. Yes. Guys, my camera is working. Yes, I can see you. It's working. It's working. Very good. Yes. Yes, it's working. Um, I Google it. <laughs> and I put over there why my camera is blurred. And then they said it was because of the resolution that I needed just to... Um, like, like, I don't know if you see like the camera that it, well how do you say that like it's not the camera or well, the real camera but in that case is um it's like a, a lentecito de la camera it's like the camera lens okay it, it is the camera yeah. lens that is in front so what i should do is basically uh, just try to screw, screw the lens, okay? Screw it. And in that way it works. 
for okay. making sure that the resolution work. Yeah, Any move it work? around. Uh huh. Like a screw it and move yes. around. Mm hmm. So it works like that. Oh, it was making it clearer and clearer mm -hmm. and clearer, and then Maybe work. You have it adjustments. Work. It has adjustment, and I didn't yeah. know. Uh huh. <laughs> Luis yeah. Alberto yeah, and Osvin were um the ones that were with me whenever I did it. And I was trying, guys, I'm trying to fix my camera. They were witness, witnesses about that. So guys, whenever you have an issue, you can look it up on the Google. <laughs> it yeah, works. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I move it around like uh, twice. Yes, one time all, ar all, ar all around and then another time and it works after all. So, guys, we will continue, all right, resolving the page number 14. Let me, um, share the screen, okay. Okay, so, and we will do it together, okay? All right, so guys, I want you to please to tell me what will be the strategies that you will introduce if, I mean, what are the strategies that you will apply if you introduce a new menu, menu? sorry, a new menu item? What will be the strategies that you will apply, guys? For you, what are the most important ones? Let me make it bigger. Mm hmm mm -hmm. Uh, new items uh, in our website because that during mm -hmm. through the time. Yes, that was one of my uh, of the uh, strategies that I believe that are great. Perfect. What else, guys? Add yeah. a new add a new item to your website. That's part of the marketing, right? Marketing and strategies. Next one, guys. What what mm. other strategy would you implement? Provide free food samplings is a good technique to introduce a new product in the market. All right, provide free yeah. food it samplings of your new market. product. Yes, On I site. remember. Uh -huh, I remember. I went once to. Oh my god. The Maria is the restaurant. It's a Mexican restaurant. It's a well-known Mexican restaurant that mm. is the one that is in pink color. <laughs> I don't remember. La Calaca. La Calaca. La Calaca. <laughs> la calaca. La calaca. I remember there was there was a new dessert there. Oh, but they didn't have like it was food samplings or no. It was like that, but it was, it was, yes, it was, I believe it was cheaper than the regular because they said that it was a new product on the menu. Yes, I believe it was like that. Uh huh. And it works because I really like it. And then I continue purchasing that dessert. So it can yeah, be a, a good strategy, right? I remember in that case, uh, they were um, giving samplings. Uh, making samplings inside mm -hmm. a restaurant and uh, outside the restaurant. Because when yes. you are um, arriving in the parking place, uh -huh. uh, they, um, they are near you and they give a sample. Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe that's good. You don't, at the, at the beginning, I thought it was not good and I didn't choose it. Uh, but now that I'm thinking, I believe it's a good strategy. That is going to be depending on you, right? Or what strategies will be implementing whenever you put a, a new item on the menu. So very good, guys. Another strategy that you believe that is important? Do you have any, uh, any other strategy? No? Yes, believe it is important. Which one? It's important, believe it is. Um, what is it? Uh, sorry, 
Use social network, advertise, or give promotional offer. Julio? Yes, teacher. Which strategy do you think that you will uh, implement? Use social network, advertise a product, give a promotional offer, provide new food sampling, add new items to your product, I mean to your website? Yes. You said that give promotional offer, right? You yes. said that that was the important one. Yes. Right? Okay. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to the customer and after a recent visit. Very good. Any other strategies, guys? No more strategies? Osbin, Jaime, Mabel, Sabrina, Dinora, Estefania, Emanuel, Christian. I think the best uh, strategy will be use social network site to share information about the product. Because today yeah. everybody uses a social network, everybody uses Instagram and also a Facebook, and there you can uh, you can share a lot of information, a lot of pictures about your uh, your product, your service, and you can uh, you can arrive maybe arrive to more people. Yes, that's right. Yes, remember that right now because of the COVID, now the social network are like one of the best tools, right? In order for you to have this the strategies regarding marketing, that's one of the best one. I I I I'm in agreement with you. So, no other strategies, guys. Um, me me. <laughs> Yes, I'm with my operate. with my team uh, operate with by by Marcos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we think uh, the strategies strategies um, the first add a new item in new item to your website mm -hmm. and you use a social me social network site to share the information about the new product and give a promotional offer that includes the new item to customer after a receipt visit. Yeah. That's it. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. I really appreciate it. They are the ones that I used at the beginning, right? For me, they were the one, but then I was thinking about the full sampling. And yes, I mean, all, this, all these strategies are good. Yes. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Advertise the products in the wise pace of a receipt. Do you believe that that, is, that can work? Advertise the product in a wise pace of the receipts. En recibo que le dan in a space, like advertise it. That is like a little bit like old fashioned, right? It's better to, it's better social networks, I believe. Right. Yeah. Uh, usually, the the restaurant no, no. use the social media the, uh -huh. for a promotion of the product. Exactly. Sorry, Luis. What was it again? Luis Alberto. Hi. No. <laughs> no nothing like that. No more. No more? Why? <laughs> okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay. So thank you guys for your comments, all right? Now you know the a little bit about marketing, right? <laughs> you know the social networks right now are best, are the best tool, right, for marketing. So now, guys, let me clear out. And we will go to the next exercise, okay? And the next exercise is just a number, the following step of the actions plans. What do you believe are the steps for this actions plan, guys? What is the number one? The number one, a new dream is good to be introduced to the menu. 
Yes, and your drink is going to be introduced to the menu. What about a number two? There are B is um, the chef create a uh, create a recipe for the drink, the manager provide of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. All right. What do you think is it the number two guys? Yes. Maybe maybe yes. maybe for for me the manager requests extra funding for these projects. How you think? Uh, the drink is made with herbs, to, uh, herbs to uh, are somewhat rare, but uh -huh. they are uh, not very expensive. Uh huh. Okay. okay. If you if you need to introduce a new product, you need to get a fountain to make it. I think extra funding. Okay, uh, that's right. But uh, we think the the question is who will carry out. Who will carry out? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Let's see. Who will carry out? Okay. So advertising. Advertising? Yes. Um, to carry out. Mm hmm. There is one thing. I mean, I, I'm I'm in agreement with this and this but i want to make sure what is the correct one right but after reading it guys i believe that is uh this why because i mean i'm just thinking right that in order for the manager to approve uh an item or a new dish for example then three, I mean, in this case, it's a drink. In order for the managers to approve it, to approve the drink, the drink should be cre should be created. I mean, should be made, right? Before. In order for you to approve it. So I need to make the drink and then uh, give it to the other person to taste it and to approve it. I don't know if that, that makes sense, guys. No, maybe. <laughs> Sorry. I think it will carry out is the chef created the recipe. The chef created the recipe for the drink for the drink. Yes. Uh, I I I think in who will carry carry it mm -hmm. up. Well, oh my God, I raised the number one here. Let's go ahead and make sure what is the what is the what is the correct one, okay? Let me go through the through the teacher's book to make sure, okay? Let me go to there because now I'm confused, <laughs> but I don't know. You got good points. You got good points because here you have Chef created the recipe for the rings, but let me make sure. One moment. Uh, page number nine. Are we in page number uh, 14, right? Give me a second. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. So uh, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I need to ad 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 admit it, all right? I was wrong. The number two, according to this, is this. Very good. Y Jaime, como que, I knew it. <laughs> oh, teacher, if for the question, they say who yes. will carry uh -huh. out? Uh -huh. Who will carry out, yes. Uh -huh. I was thinking about this, but then, uh, it, I mean, I got confused and... But, but you're fine. Who will carry out, right? The chef. Mm -hmm. That's right. I run a blast for you. Great job. Okay, what about number three? The tree. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues throughout February. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. Let me see. Yes, very good. Very good. Number three. All right, good job. And the number four and five, guys? Four and five? Learn D is um, the manager requests extra funding for this proje project. Sorry, it's the letter, uh huh. Learn what D. resources are needed to carry out the change, right? Yes. What resources are needed to carry out the change? The manager, uh huh. I the manager request. requested extra funding for, for this project the drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare but they are not very expensive four right yes. and the number five advertising <laughs> marcos marcos melgar uh, approved the the this answer oh, oh yes. okay okay yes, very teacher. good uh, yeah uh, good, good <laughs> job to mr jaime okay very good Okay, great, guys. Good job. Okay. So, guys, do you believe that now if someone asks you, okay, guys, you will go ahead and add one item to the menu. Do you believe that now you have an idea? Maybe we haven't worked in a restaurant before, right? Never. But now we have an idea about, about how to do it. <laughs> At least about how to add one item to the menu. That's what we learned, <laughs> at least one thing, right? So very good, guys. You did it awesome. Okay, let me scroll down and I will go through the attendance list because I just forgot it. But uh, before going through the uh, through the attendance, guys, I really need you please to read this conversation, read this conversation, analyze it, understand it, okay? Uh, Try to go ahead and concentrate it, to read it. And then we will practice because we will create one similar. So ahorita lo que vamos a hacer, guys, es leer esta conversación y traten de entenderla. ¿Por qué la van a entender? Porque luego van a hacer una similar, con sus propias palabras similar a eso. So lo que tienen que hacer es entender la idea de qué es la conversación. Understand the idea. Or what they're talking about, que están hablando, what are they talking about, and then you will create one conversation with your partner, okay? So um, this is a fun conversation, by the way, with a friend from an advertising department, okay? So let's try to understand it, and then we will try to create one similar. Okay, but uh, before doing this, I will go through the attendance list. While I'm, while I'm uh, going through the attendance list, you're going to start reading, okay? Voy a empezar a tomar la attendance list y mientras tanto, ustedes pueden empezar a, a leerla, guys. Read it. Todavía en la pantalla, right? Sí, yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Guys, uh, guys, by the way, do not forget that since today is Friday, today at midnight, you should be completing all the homework, all the homework assignments, okay? So please make sure that today before 12, okay? Midnight, you How complete. Am I? Um, excuse me? How am I in the password? In the homework? I don't remember. Oh, oh my God. I don't know exactly. It's the number five. It's about the number five. You didn't check. What, what is the number five, Why, guys? The homework number five. ¿Alguien la ha hecho hasta el momento? Is somebody that maybe you did it already so you can remind us what is it about? 
We'll check it out. Ya lo vamos a ver. I made six or seven uh, um, homeworks, but I don't remember what that. Okay, uh, we have right now five because we are in the class number five. Five homework assignments. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of homework assignments, right? Like for every day, every day homework, we have one. So yeah. we have in total 20. 20 homework assignments, but now we are in the number five. Okay. I will check it out. We will check it out together to see what what is the one, okay? Vamos a ver, don't worry. Um, let's see. So, Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez? Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez? Cristian José López Pérez. Sorry, teacher, present. Thank you. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Ezequiel is not here, right? Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present, teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Jorge is not here either. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present coach. Thank you. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lisset Cuer de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present, teacher. Marcos Amil Carmencia Gutiérrez. Marcos Amil Carmencia Gutiérrez. María Dinora Janes Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Marielo Janet Cornejo Horas. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Marina Vázquez. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizette García Orellana. Oh my. Sabrina. Present, present, present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present. Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. Okay, great. One moment. Let me um, look for the, for the, ex, uh, for the homework, okay? Let me see.
Sorry, guys. Uh, so the homework number one, estoy revisando ahorita eh, lo de los exercises, right? Lo de los homework, homework assignments. Ex, uh, the homework number one is about comparative adjectives, right? Then the homework number... One second. Okay, homework number two is about definitions. Oh, about the conjunctions, right? No sé si me van siguiendo, guys. Are you following me? Yes? Okay. Um, and the number, um, homework number three, it's about <laughs> definitions with the correct word. Okay, definitions and the correct word about snack, starters, drinks, desserts, main courses. Yes. Mm. And the exercise number four, right? The four is about could and might. How to use the could and how to use might. The actually today we will have a review about this. Then in the last homework is about promotional strategies to the meaning basically to put the to describe promotional strategies to their meaning to match the words right okay so let me go back then, guys. Mm, okay. All right, guys. So did you read the conversation? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yeah, yes. Perfect. So um, let's repeat after me, just to to uh, practice the pronunciation. And later on, as I mentioned, you will go ahead and try to create one similar to this one. So this is a conversation between Carla and Sanders. Okay, Mr. Sanders. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We worried in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customer will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or to a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside. The restaurant giving free samples, but he's telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, so guys, this restaurant is about um a new item that they well it, it's basically it talking about how to introduce right a new kind of spicy food pizza uh, spicy pizza to the menu so they are talking about the strategies for advertising this so this is what you're gonna be doing okay like for example mabel y jaime están hablando en una conversación verdad Porque dicen de que van a comentar que otra persona está eh, tratando de implementar un nuevo menú, perdón, un nuevo platillo al menú. Entonces ustedes están discutiendo qué tipo de uh, strategies, qué tipo de estrategias pudieran ocupar, cuál ocuparán ustedes. Entonces básicamente una conversación de discutir de cuál es la estrategia que ustedes creen que es la mejor. That's basically it, okay? No tiene que ser igualita esta, like 100%, no, o decir lo mismo, no. Nada más tratemos 
eh, de decir qué estrategia ustedes pueden ocupar. Como una conversación normal, como que, ok, Jaime, hi, um, you know what, o pueden decir ustedes que ustedes van a implementar un nuevo, una nueva estrategia, como lo harían. Hey, uh, Jaime, I'm calling you because I don't know what to do. Um, we need to implement a new item in the menu. So what would you, what do you think that is the best best strategy? Y luego Mabel le puede contestar. Oh, I believe that the new the best strategy will be to give samples, okay? Samples about this this item, right? Oh, do you think this is the best one? I believe that it's better to make a marketing, uh, I'm sorry, to promote this dish through social media, taking pictures, and then having a promotional activities. I don't know. And so on. Pueden discutir en la conversación de qué estrategia pueden ocupar. ¿Ok? De eso va a ser la conversación. Si lo quieren hacer super short, don't worry, it's fine. La cosa es que discutan dos estrategias al menos. ¿Ok? En la conversación. And um, before doing this, guys, antes de, de hacer eso, solamente quiero hacer un remind, ¿ok? Solo quiero hacer un refresh del uso del might y el could. El día de ayer empezamos a utilizar estas, estos dos modal verbs, ¿ok? Y dijimos de que el could y el might se utiliza para hacer una formal suggestion, sugerencia o un request, como una petición, de manera super formal, ¿verdad? O educada, por así decirlo. Entonces, ustedes pueden ocupar el could para hacer sugerencias. Por ejemplo, I can say, you could, you could talk to the manager about bundling product for the promotional events. Or you could generate business in a community event. Ustedes están utilizando el could para brindar sugerencias. Y podemos ocupar el might, eh, y ese no, might normalmente se utiliza con los verbos want and like para agregar más, eh, como más eh, formalidad, cuando hay más educación en la conversación. For example, si ustedes quieren dar una sugerencia, pero esa sugerencia va a ser como muy formal, ¿verdad? O bien polite, ustedes pueden decir, you might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. O pueden decir, you might lie. You might lie to schedule a promotional event alone, alone a holiday like a Black Friday. ¿Sí? Entonces ustedes pueden ocupar estos tres, cuatro verbos en esta conversación. Así como están acá, miren. You could discount, you might want to have, or you could offer o pueden decir, you might like. ¿Ok? Eh, lo importante es tratar de utilizar el my y el want. Sorry, el my y el could en la conversación que vamos a crear. ¿All right? So, guys, um, do you have questions about these two verbs, could and might? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de could and might, guys? No. Question? Um, Marielos? Marielos, Janet, do you have questions? Kenny? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Nora, do you have questions? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. René? Jose René? Luis, Luis no. César? ¿Todo bien? No, no. It's good. Ok, let me stop sharing. And vamos a hacer la conversation, ok? Vamos a hacer, vamos a crear la conversación. And then we will practice, ok? Acuérdense de hacer la conversación, guys, lo más natural posible. Hagan la corta, lo más natural, como que usted está hablando con su compañero y van a poner un iron al menú, ok? ¿Qué tipo de iron? Pueden hablar de qué tipo de iron van a poner, qué tipo de dish, qué tipo de platillo. Um, Brindele comentario, brindele sugerencia utilizando el could y el might, ¿ok? Ese es básicamente el propósito, brindar sugerencias de qué tipo de estrategias para promocionar ese nuevo platillo que usted va a implementar en el menú, ¿ok? So, I will go through the breakout rooms, guys. Let me get a second. 
I will just make some changes, okay? Just one moment, please. So voy a hacer unos cambios por acá. Just one moment. Okay, guys, could you please click on the breakout rooms? Click on the breakout rooms, guys. Do you have any idea? What? Do you have any idea about any uh, some product? Ah, uh, yeah. Which... Um, my my strategic is implement 
Implement es implementar, no. Teacher. Written. Teacher. Teacher. Hello, teacher. No está la teacher. No está. Bueno, no. She is here. Teacher. But I don't know. Está muda la teacher. <laughs> okay, try. Um, El gato. You, you... Quizás pasó. <laughs> bueno, eh, my, 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 my idea, my idea is okay. eh, mm -hmm. implement o al longaniza pepper. Ah. With, with sauce. You... Sauce tomato o tomato sauce. <laughs> no. uh, tomato sauce. Mm. It's about uh, salsa. Ajá, uh -huh. salsa with so, tonganiza, pepper. Tomatoes sauce. Tomato sauce. Entonces, we call it. Hola, 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 me escuchan. Yes, yes teacher. Now I listen. Qué raro que no me escuchaban hace rato. No, teacher, mm -hmm. I, I, I have a question, teacher. Uh, how do you say implementar? Implement. Implement. Ah, okay. Uh, my idea, teacher, my strategic is implement or add a longaniza paper. Longaniza paper. Okay. <laughs> with so, with tomato sauce or say or sauce tomato. Sauce. Sauce. Tomato sauce. Ah, uh, tomato sauce. Uh, huh? This is my idea. The other All right. but how would you how would you um introduce that dish? How what strategies will you use? Uh, our dish. Ajá. ¿Qué estrategia va a utilizar? Porque esa lo que usted me dijo es el dish que usted va a poner en el menú, pero qué estrategia va a utilizar para promocionarlo. Um, I I I. I give the Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. For free. <laughs> no, that's good. Eh, Coca-Cola Coca for free. Coca-Cola. If you, if you sell the, the dish, you can receive a Coca-Cola. <laughs> one liter. One liter of Coke. Ah, oh, my God. It's too much. <laughs> yes. yes. I like, but I can't. Really? I can't, I can't either. <laughs> yes, that can be one of the strategies. That will be depending on you. Mm -hmm. Great job, okay. guys. If you Thanks. have any question, let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. Okay, Marco. Oh, 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 oh. Only you with... here. Only you can. Um, okay, so I answer. Make a survey. Make a survey. We can make a survey with their regular customer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you with, can say me something like, I a, already know. With a list. For the favorite ingredient, we for make a que les gustaría that they like, they like what they will have uh, with the regular customer with a list with a list. 
to favorite ingredient. Bien. Favorite ingredient. Yes. With a favorite ingredient. Yes. The favorite ingredient. Yes. I write, I, we call a make survive with the regular customers with a list. With a list, uh, with a with a list for with a list with a list favorite ingredient they will they will like. Creo que así sería. <laughs> okay, they would like. Uh, Marielos is going to introduce a new cheese. Uh -huh. We're working in an action plan. Uh -huh. We work uh -huh. in an Hi, coach. I'm alone. Hello, Emanuel. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello, coach. Hello. Se lo han dejado solo. ¿Y Cristian? Uh, I'm a well. I don't know what happened with him. But he was there with you, right? Yes, he were he were with me, but I don't know what happened. And she left. Maybe she it left. was the internet. She left. <laughs> she left. Maybe because left. of the internet, right? Let me see. Yeah, probably, but don't worry. Yes, I worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Um, I don't know if he will go, he will come back, but just one second. Okay, man, Emanuela, I will move you to another room, okay? It's okay, coach. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello oh. guys. We sorry that I interrupt you. Uh, Emmanuel was alum. Is there any way that we can work together with Emmanuel? Okay. He is, he is with us right now. Hi Emmanuel. Okay. Hi, Thank you, Sabinita. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> What were you doing? We are we are doing what we orange with with papaya. No. Mm. No, but uh, um, orange juice, orange juice, orange juice. Uh, siete o la nueve, ¿cuál es? La 1.9. We finished, teacher. Wow. Okay, teacher. Ready to shine? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we, are, we are ready to talk. Okay, perfect. All right, let me make sure in the other break rooms and later on we will, we will start practicing, okay? Thank you, guys.
Let me make sure about the other breaker okay. rooms, okay? Thank you. Okay. O sea, que le, o sea que serían dos cosas las que ganaría mm. Ajá. Uh, eh, le podríamos cambiar el and uh -huh. por or uh -huh. so sería I could be offered an ice cream ¿Mena? when the ah, customer sí. bought o sea que so podríamos uh -huh. or discount in the uh, um, tweet Treating, treating girls. Thirteen. Trece, twelve, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Ah, thirteen. 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 Thirteen girls. Thirteen girls is yes. a love of girl. Are you working here? But that's, yes. that's good. I, I am, I am a, a good, good, good trabajador. Worker. Yes. Yeah, a good work. <laughs> okay, that's a okay. Good. You have a I lot think... of experience to sell us. If you 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 may uh, you may get a, a, a your 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 own you can you can go get a your company. <laughs> Podría extender su propia compañía y with selling, for selling, para vender. I think. Yes, uh, I am uh, in, my, in my company uh, say, hey, you look, it, it's good, Charles. A good person, Charles. I think that you are uh, so good, uh, very good to, to they're speaking in Spanish when do you, when you need to sell something. Eh, Ustedes pueden hablar de español cuando quiere vender algo. Yes. <laughs> Inter, yes. That's, that's okay. Yes. That's okay. But it's no it's no in, in English because it's very difficult. I think. Ah, uh, I am. I am. Yes, yes. It, 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 for me it's difficult to uh, speak in English. But I, I, I give you an advice. Uh, you, when you uh, are you learn English, you uh, try to preach your mind, try, uh, imagine other place, imagine you are alone. I try to speak, try to understand, forget all around the world. Uh, he try to understand, try to be your mind clear. Trata de tener su mente clara, trata de leer. Olvídese del mundo, del resto. De around the world, todo lo que... Olvídese de todo, eso no existe. Only you in the new language. Solo usted y la nueva lengua que va a hablar. Yes, Daniel. Yes, uh, uh, I have... Uh, I have biggest, biggest, my my biggest uh, problem is my list, my list. Um, uh, I, yes, uh -huh. my this is 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 my biggest problem. Uh -huh. In sales, in ventas, or in compras, in in buy, sería va, in buy. Uh, sí. Al comprar, al comprar una libra de pound, pound libra, pound, pound. P O U N, no P O U N D, pound. Y call offering a diez Perfecto. In buy the, ¿cómo se dirá libra? No sé, en las compras. En compras. Yo le he puesto al comprar una libra. Sería de ¿Cómo? buy a uh -huh. a 
by a phone. Este de Lutea P O U N D. Phone. Oh, libro. Ok. Pero oh. para especificar sería libra de qué. Para especificar, ¿verdad? Que es eso. Quiero ver. Claro. Libra. Pound. Oh, pound. Ok. Vamos a ver. Todo esto lo diría usted, ¿verdad? Buying. Sería buying a pound, ¿verdad? Buying a pound of cheese. Of cheese. De giver. Ok. Hasta ahí, quizá. Do we what I escrito, verdad, teacher? Hola. Uy, la voy a tomar. Hola. Hola. Hello, girls. No, no, no. Estaba viendo el que pensé que había escrito, pero ya no me Uy, casi no le escucho, guys. Girls. No, que pensé que había escrito en el chat. Oh, yes, I will come back to the main room. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining back, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, me. We finished. Joining back. We finished the time. My teacher. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're very fast. <laughs> <laughs> guys, um, today... Will I stay? Oh my God, Daniel Ezequiel. Um, Estela Mabel, I believe. Yes, Estela Mabel, can you stay with me today? Teacher, next week's I classes. No, no classes. We are in vacation. <sighs> yeah, the next week is free. Miren que feliz. <laughs> Yeah. Va, Marcos. Yo pensé que se iba a poner triste. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, of course, it's vacation. Five days off. <laughs> five days off. Mm -hmm. Off classes, right? All right, guys. So thank you very much for joining. Uh, Mabel, can you stay with me today? In the one on one session. Okay. Yes, sir. Great. So, guys, we will do something. I will go through the attendance list and then we'll listen to the conversations for the ones that can pass in five minutes. <laughs> okay. So, Angela Estefania Marroquín Martinez. Cristian Josué Lopez Perez. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jessica Alcarmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jorge Alberto Navarro Flo López. Perdón, guys, a veces les cambio pedidos. Uh, Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Present coach. Thank you, Julio César Merino González. 
Julio César present, Ramírez present, present, present teacher, present. Thank you. ¿Quién y Lizette Coyer de Barrientos? Present teacher. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. I'm here. To... Present teacher. Thank you. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. María Dinora Llanes Hernández. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Está acá Marcos. Present teacher. Ah, thank you, Marcos. Uh, Mariano Janet Cornejo Razo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Oslin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Marcos Present. Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José Nelson Aguirre Chavarri. José <ríe> y yo. Es René, no Nelson. <ríe> es que se acuerda de Nelson Ruiz. No, es que el de abajo es Nelson Vladimir Flores Martínez. No sé cómo lo mixté. Ah, no me bueno. Y por eso se queda así como que. <ríe> well, I present. <ríe> Ay, Osvin, lo siento. Miren, Osvin, sí. Osvin es bien fiel, miren. Él sí, miren. No como otros. No están felices porque se van a ir ellos. Ponen triste. felices. Gracias, Exacto. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, you need to rest. Ay, qué considerados. No, la verdad es que sí. La verdad es que sí, guys. I need to rest. Pero uh, I will miss you. De verdad, fíjense que, bueno, a mí me pasa, ¿verdad? Que a veces cuando no, ya no, uy, cinco minutos vamos a tener para, la, para el roleplay, y se ve bien feliz, ¿verdad? Qué bueno que no vamos a pasar, dicen todos. <risa> oh my God, sorry for the... Hasta el perrito está contento, Tich. Hasta el perrito se puso contento. <risa> no, eh... No, a mí me pasa que ajá, estamos en clase, ¿verdad? Yo sé que es un descanso porque nos vamos a dormir temprano, pero sí hacen falta, guys. Me sí, hará, me hará falta esta semana. No, no más, pero aunque sea un momento que se conecten, ¿verdad? Y después vayan a la feria. Sí, <ríe> Tengan no, cuidado si van a la feria. Miento. Luis habló. Y se desconectó, ¿no? It's alive. It's alive, guys. It's alive. Si no gusta, si te nos mienten, tío. Mírenlo. Hola, Luis. Hi. Good night. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Bien tranquilo. Fine, teacher. And you? Happy but for because the class is over, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, so look at this. Time is over. All right. I won't invent that we will pass right now because time is over. Um we will go ahead and, and continue until August the eighth, okay? You have one week as a vacation. I hope that you enjoy it, guys. Please be careful, all right? And enjoy it as much as you can. But please do me a favor. Let's do the exercises or, I mean, the homework assignments before 12 midnight. Guys, por favorcito, ayúdeme con eso. Porque yo tengo que mandar esa información, esas notas ahora. Normalmente eh, las enviaba el siguiente día en la mañana, pero, guys, <coughs> miren, las últimas veces yo, la había, yo las había estado enviando tarde, de hecho casi a mediodía, porque realmente yo siempre los trato, yo no es que esté diciendo que todo, ¿verdad? Claro que no nos estoy generalizando, pero a veces pasaba que un par o una persona no completaba las tareas, entonces yo no podía mandarlas todas. Eh, tal vez por esa persona Entonces la última vez Que las mandé ya tarde 
eh, me dijeron que las tenía que enviar a medianoche, ¿sí? Así que, please, se los pido de todo corazón que me envíen las tareas ahora, antes de la medianoche. O sea, que ya están completas, pues, que estén completas las cinco, eh, las cinco tareas. Si tienen preguntas, me dejan saber. Please. Pero no vamos a hacer examen, dice, ¿no? Sí, Marcos, ya estamos en intermedio. Ahora cada semana hay examen. Ah, o sea que hay que enviar las cinco tareas y después el, lo, el examen. El examen no de cada semanal. No. Mejor mande no el lunes. No estudió, Marcos. No, tía. No mentiras. El examen solo hay dos, el midterm y el final. Don't worry. Ah, Marcos. entonces solo son las cinco tareas, tía. Solo five homework assignments, just no. five. That's okay. it. <laughs> Cualquier cosa me dejan saber. And I hope you have an amazing night and enjoy your mm. week, okay? Enjoy your holidays, guys. Okay. Be careful, okay? Be careful. Take care and have an amazing night, okay? See you on August. <laughs> on see, August you, uh, see you on Monday. See you on August, August the 8th, okay? Bye bye. Okay. Thank bye, you guys. Bye, bye bye. Bye bye guys. Thank you for joining. Have a holiday. Happy holidays, Happy guys. Holidays. Happy holidays. Happy bye bye. Happy weekend. Bye bye, bye, bye Julio. Bye, Amilcar. Bye, Kenny. Take care, teacher. Take care, Kenny. Hello, Mabel. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm tired. I am I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you see, you're, I tried. you seem <laughs> tired. Yes. And it's normal. It's Friday. It's the end of the week and we are like that. Yes. But thank you for staying, Yay. Mabel. I really appreciate it. Um, I would like to ask you, uh, Mabel, how do you feel now that you're in intermediate? Uh, how can I help you so you can continue learning and those four skills that we need to develop right throughout the courses, listening, writing, speaking, reading. Is there anything that, that, that I can do uh, regarding this? Maybe if there is a topic that is difficult or you want to get more practice or you want to get a reinforcement. I will be more than happy to help you in this minute. And by the way, I want to say as well, thank you, right, for your participation. I know sometimes it's difficult for you and even though it's difficult, you are always there and you're always participating. So we don't we don't notice that sometimes you are busy and sometimes you cannot participate, <laughs> believe me. I always, I, I have thank always you. told you that And uh, re regarding uh, the question you asked me the last time, I don't know if you remember, that was like a kind of feed uh, feedback that Insafor was like um, getting from all the students. I believe all the students get the call, got the call about how they were feeling in the curve. So everyone. Everyone got the same coupon. So don't worry, okay? You're awesome, Mabel, in the class. Thank you, okay? Don't worry okay. about it. Okay, thank you. So, I'm all you here. Are very, uh, yeah. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. It's, I I like uh, because I tried. I I do my homework. I, I try to to get a com comprehension mm -hmm. about the new 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 items but sometimes I'm what is what is that <laughs> <laughs> and try to 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 do it um, adelantado I don't know how do you say that um, uh, but I but try to do it because Uh, when is the class? I understand more. If mm -hmm. I don't know the the the. Oh, you do it in advance, you said. Yeah. 
Ah, okay. Because I understand better. I understand better the class. Uh -huh. I got and, what you're and so, Wow. I'm sorry? Interesting. <laughs> But I try, I try to, 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 to study in this way, <laughs> but I don't, I can't to listen the class about none, but in for uh, it about uh, four or five. Uh, words like uh, 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 you can use to to unir oh the, the sentence but I don't remember but how do you, what is the term uh coordinating conjunctions like the fan boys uh -huh. yes and oh. I I don't understand that <laughs> Well, thank you for uh, for telling me about this because that is a very useful topic, right? And it's important that we don't understand it, but thank you for letting me know. I can help you right now, of course. Let me get a second and I, I will open that um, PowerPoint presentation about coordinating conjunctions. Let me see, I got it here. I will share the screen, Mabel, mm -hmm. and I can happily assist you with this, okay? okay? Let's see, Um. yes. Okay. Basically, Mabel, the coordinating so, conjunctions, they are called fanboys. Fanboys because of the words that we have. We have seven words, right? That we use in ah, order okay. to connect or to join two ideas Complete ideas, which are called, um, com uh, sorry, complete sentences, right? Mm -hmm. They also mm -hmm. can join two phrases or two words. For example, whenever I say um, Mabel and Ricardo went to the movies. Mabel and Ricardo, Mabel is mm -hmm. just one word. And Ricardo is one word, right? Mabel is not a complete sentence. Ricardo is not a complete sentence. They are just words. So I use them to complete two, uh, two words. But also I use them to complete two phrases. Uh, for example, to read at night and listen to music um are my favorite hobbies mm. okay I, i'm okay. saying that to read at night and to listen to music two phrases because they are not complete sentences right to read at night and to um listen to music are my favorite hobbies so i'm joining to read at night and to listen to music. I'm joining these two phrases in order to say that, that both of them are my favorite hobbies. This is how to join phrases because those are not complete sentences. But in the example mm -hmm. that I have in front of you, um, here in, on the screen, it says, she didn't speak to anyone. A complete idea, that is a complete sentence. Ain't nobody spoke to her, okay? Complete sentence. So I'm joining okay. two complete sentences. So here, the fanboys then is the function of these fanboys are to join two phrases, two ideas, I mean, two, two complete ideas, two complete sentences, or two words, right? And uh, okay. we are focusing this course, I mean, this class, well, the class that we, we, we already have, um, about how to use the coordinating conjunctions for using two complete sentences. Right? We are focusing on this because this is what is more difficult 
let's say more difficult because the other one you normally use them and you are not conscious about it that they are coordinating conjunctions right so this is the use that we are talking about and they are called fanboys because uh f stands for four n stands for n nor for n for nor b for bad o for or uh y for yet and s for so that's why we got just the capital letter and all the capital letters forms fanboys that's why they call them fanboys because sometimes it's like it's not easy to say okay coordinating conjunctions so we better call them fanboys so those are the famous fanboys right and um we have the N, that is the more popular one, the most popular one. I don't know, you normally use them every day and use it every day. Yes. We also have four and it, this is like because, whenever you want to give a reason. Mm -hmm. We listen eagerly mm -hmm. for he brought news of your of our family. It's like saying we listen mm -hmm. eagerly because he brought news mm -hmm. of her family. It's like saying this, but it's with four. So what is the meaning of four? It's because, to give a reasoning, right? And then, and, right? Okay. In order to join two mm -hmm. ideas. Then we have nor, the one that we were practicing. Do you remember? This is a little bit complicated, mm -hmm. but we were practicing this in which the meaning in Spanish is like ni, right? Ni. I don't expect children to be rude, mm. nor do I expect to be disobeyed. All right. So wow. nor it's is like a, I don't do it that, but don't do it that too. Uh -huh. It is like no espero esto ni esto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y por eso estamos haciendo los examples yesterday, or it was the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, <laughs> yes, the day before yesterday was that we were practicing nor. Do you remember? It, we were practicing nor because I believe it's an structure that is a little bit complicated because you need to use an auxiliary, then you need to use the nor, all right? But in, indeed, mm. this um, fanboy nor is in order for you to, to use it with two negative statements. Okay. Maybe this statement you seem, if you see it, you tell me, teacher, but this is not negative. It's not negative. Because uh, no. Grammarly, grammarly is not like, no. Uh, if you see the spelling, it's not negative. And it's not neg negative, sorry. But if you see it with meaning, right, it's negative. Because nor is, uh, let's see um functioning as a didn't or not or don't sorry that's why i don't put don't anymore okay. because i use nor because of nor is here it's part of this clause remember that here we have the two type of clothes actually they they are the same because they are in independent clothes we have one clause here and we have one clause here so n is the one that is used for joining the two clothes nor is used to join the two clothes but or yet and so are joining the two clauses okay but um, nor is part of the second clause that is why i don't put it in negative because nor, if I put it in negative, I'm making the negative double. If I say um, nor, I don't, I'm saying negative in a double way. Yes? But the actual auxiliar is uh, before to the subject. Yes. Uh, before first, to the subject. Second. Mm -hmm. second. When I, I change the um, subject to she, it, or he, is thus. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And also, Abel, we were saying that as you use another tense, for example, I can say I didn't. I didn't expect children to be rude. If I am using simple past, then here I will change it for did. 
Did. Mm -hmm. I say, okay. I don't expect children to be rude, nor did I expect to be disobeyed because mm -hmm. I'm talking in past. So okay. this do is going to be changed depending on the person and depending on the tense. It's going to change, but it's going to be before the, before the subject. Okay. Before the subject. For any reason, the structure is like that, right? Okay. <laughs> That's what it is complicated, a little bit complicated. Mm. For any reason, just this um, fanboy is an exception, let's say. But other than that, the other one are normal, right? Mm. So just okay. don't forget to put do like extra here. It is like saying don't, but I first put not nor and then then i do then mm -hmm. i put do right it is the, like the contrary like moving them right okay are we okay with nor <laughs> because it's yes. one of all right perfect yes, it's very difficult but it's uh, it's interesting <laughs> it's interesting yes and whenever you're you understand it you say wow <laughs> wow yeah. right <laughs> that happens it's, to me. it's like to say um break the rules break the rules exactly and whenever <laughs> someone asks you you know i don't understand why do is here and oh it is because the structure is here and come i will explain it to you now you know it right and you feel yeah. so powerful because of this <laughs> i mean that's that's why mabel i one of my favorite subjects at the university was in um was grammar because of this because I could, I, I could go ahead and split all the sentences and understand it. They split all the words and understand what it is, every single word. So I really love that because now yeah. you know the origin of everything, right? The grammatical rules and all of these. Mm -hmm. And you, with those rules, you are able to explain to others why this is happening. In that case, I can explain it to you. Why do I make these changes? Because the structure is like that. But I can tell you that do is here because it's functioning. I mean, it's helping nor. Both of them are, um, are helping in order to make it negative. And they decided to make it complicated, right? <laughs> and do it like that. No. So they decided to do so. I don't know who, but they do it like that. Okay, and then, I'm sorry. No mm -hmm. worries. Thank you, Mabel. And then we have that, right? Which is mm -hmm. pero, right? In, in, in mm -hmm. Spanish. Like, mm -hmm. uh, um, they rushed to the hospital, but they were too late, right? Mm -hmm. And next, I will go shopping or I will go camping, whenever you have two options, whenever you want to decide between two options. I will go camping or I will go uh, shopping, sorry. And mm -hmm. yet it's similar to, to but, all right? It's the same. Kelly mm -hmm. was convicted, convicted criminal, yet many people admire him. Like aún así as well in Spanish, mm -hmm. like aún así también is almost like that. But it's like, pero también is the same. Pero aún okay. así. Okay. Y el so is like, entonces, right? So mm. I was feeling hungry, so I made myself a sandwich, right? Okay. All right. And it's very important to know that in the first close, whenever you are joining complete sentences, just complete sentences, you separate it with a comma just for mm -hmm. complete sentences. But if I am joining phrases or if I am joining words, I don't put a comma. For example, mm -hmm. if I say, um, I don't know what to eat, let's say. Um, pizza or burger. I don't know what to, oh, sorry, it's my, it's my keyboard that I need to fix. Let's see, let's see if, if, if it is, oh, it disappeared, but okay, there is missing this. It's not working, but there is a question mark there, right? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to eat. 
pizza or burger. So here, because I'm I'm having two words, I don't I don't need to put a comma. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I am I am using complete sentences, complete ideas like these examples, then I put a comma. Okay. So that's basically what fanboys are. Um, those fanboys, Mabel, they are they are the ones that we use them every day, but we don't know what what are they. And now we know that they are fanboys, right? We don't mm -hmm. even, we we are not conscious about what are the coordinating conjunctions, but we are using them every day. Maybe we need to, to know about this because of grammar, because we need to know that there is a comma, if we're using complete sentences, right? And in order for you to know what is it, what is, okay, what is the meaning of for, nor yet that they are not well known. They are not popular, but I need to manage them, right? Because uh, we need to ma we need to handle them because they exist. At the end, we need to handle them because all of them are for joining two ideas, right? Mm -hmm. Two yes, two ideas basically. So, uh, Mabel, is is that is that clear for you? Is that better than the first time? Yes, What's I understand problem? because I didn't receive the class. I, I was oh, in another oh class. God. And when I I saw your uh, play with uh, the partners, I, I think I don't understand. <laughs> And I didn't get that you was not in class. That's why that's why it was difficult for you. But thank you very much, Mabel, for taking the time and taking advantage of this 101 for this. Right? Okay. Thank you, uh, teacher. Thank you very much. And I know you are a little bit tired. Mabel, I thank you so much for your time and for staying here with me. If you have any questions about this topic or about any other topics, let me know and I will help you. I will help you, okay? So thank you. thank you. Thank you for staying and I hope you have an amazing night or do you happen to have any other question? Anything no. else I can do? For the moment, no. Okay. Thank you. So I, I, uh -huh. you have a if doubt, send me a WhatsApp, okay? Yes. Don't doubt it. <laughs> if yeah. I respond too late, forgive me, but I will respond one day. <laughs> no, I understand. Don't worry. I, I know you. you are very busy. busy. Sometimes I'm very busy, but um, I always answer it. it mm -hmm. You know what? In the classes, it's difficult because sometimes I, I'm concentrating and you text me and mm -hmm. I, I, I read it. I'm conscious. But later on, I, I just see it. Ah, okay, great. But I didn't confirm that I read it. So that happens to me all the time. So I'm sorry for that, Mabel. Don't but thank, worry. You, thank you for always letting me know, okay? Because I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 it's I'm yes, it's important. Okay, so thank you. And I hope you have an amazing night and a happy holidays, okay? Thank you, teacher. You too. Thank rest. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good rest as well. Bye-bye, Mabel. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.